What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Free Run Beyond Journeys. And today we're doing episodes 15 and 16. I am super excited, absolutely loving the show. If you guys want to see these episodes in the full uncut versions, make sure to check out that Patreon. Links are down below. We are live streaming all these episodes on Twitch. It is a vibe, so come on over and follow. And please check out the other social medias Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all at Dapper Darius. I appreciate y'all immensely. Not gonna waste any more time. Let's get right into episode 15. Episode 15, Smells Like Trouble. 29 years in the Lob Hills, located in the Northern Lands. Four years ago. Burn knows the, the date to a T. Already been a year with Stark? Time just be flying. Which is what? I can't deny what my man is saying right now. I can't argue. Free Rin does technically count, though. She's older than most ladies you're ever going to see. That's hilarious. What the hell is going on in this village? Okay, that's a episode of the uh, title of the episode. Yeah, we have to help these people. Come on, free run. Can she dispel the magic? Give me more world building. What are the curses? Oh, so the ones we don't have the answers to are known as curses. Wow, so we can't dispel them either. There is demon magic. What other kind of magic are there? Okay. Priest magic would make more sense. That makes so much video game sense. If you if you do need to dispel a curse like in video games, you go to a priest, you know? That's so funny. I love that. Damn. I love how there's different types of magic. Priest magic, demon magic, human magic. That's why Sign is such a genius. The blessing of the goddess. This really makes me feel like I'm playing a video game. Interesting. Shout out, son. Curse is already affected Stark. He's out. We have to find the source of this and take it out. Yeah. I wonder what sort of monster is causing this curse. Starting to hit Fern, too. Shroud them in a barrier. Gotta hide them here while it's just gonna be signed in free run. This should be very interesting. It's even affecting free run as well. She, I like how they were able. She was able to last the longest, but wow, this curse is strong. This is gonna be our first time really seeing him in action. He has battle magic, but it's gonna be really all on him, which should be interesting. Now, I wanted to see him in action, but I didn't want it to be like all left up to like this is kind of this is kind of a sticky situation. What in the vegetable fleshlight of chaos flower? Interesting. Okay. Merge with the local flora to create subspecies. That grimoire. Three spears of the goddess? I love how even his battle magic is priest magic. That did nothing, though. It is very strong. 
Yeah, it makes it way more dangerous and effective. Yeah, exactly. Animation is going insane right now. You got five seconds if you can wake her. Also valid observation. I'm liking the way he's deducting right now. How are you going to explain? Yeah. That's also a good point. Five seconds is a very limited amount of time. Oh, he thinks back to Hyder. I love that. He's not lying. He really isn't. That's as long as he has faith in that, that's all he needs. Shout out my mans. Oh, and he's and she told you just a second ago, don't fight it alone. Okay, those are her words. Gotta have faith in them. Within two seconds. Oh my god. Right down the center. I love that. Within literally a second. She is so different. I love that. God damn. OST does be hidden. I'd be so grateful if I was them. I don't know who she is, but she's gorgeous. <laughs> I think so too. That's why she curved it. Had it to go around right to the core. Yeah, shout out USGR. Welcome in, my man. You joined at a crazy time. <laughs> Good boy, gotta give the head pats. Come on. That's her way of praising you. Vorig. The fortress city. So you guys said that B is pronounced like an S, right? So it's Ossers? Almost out of money. We gotta get some money. Speaking of money, this, these guys look super rich. Noble's carriage. It's either gonna be for some sort of battle or it's gonna be sexual. The three great families of the Norderland. She, of course, she would know his grandfather. You want to talk to Stark? You got to go through me first. Don't try roasting the man into this. We were just saying we need money, so. Burns like, eh, maybe we should hear him out. We're kind of broke. My heir and hero of the city. I wonder if it's like Vert. I know German. I'm so bad with German pronunciations. R.I.P. Man. Everyone. Stark to pose as his son and yeah, letting him know that the hero and heir to the city dead would definitely yeah Rowan that's all she cares about Rowan a grimoire yeah we haven't even asked Stark yet that's just a battle wound you got. I feel bad, but they do need the money. He definitely does not have proper nobility etiquette. Teach him how to ride. We're going to have to teach him how to dance. Okay, <laughs> kind of awkward, but yeah, need to learn. Need to make the soiree happen. So we're spending, I'm assuming, days, weeks here. Ooh, this is training right here. May I have this dance? 
Doing it well. Come on, Fern. I don't normally ship characters in shows, but I would love for them to grow up and have 75 kids together. Obviously, he doesn't enjoy this. He does very much look like Stark. And very much like Stark's older brother, so it makes sense. Ooh. This is his youngest son. Very much reminds Stark of his family line. Yup. Very much so. Him being that second son, I'm sure he relates to Moot. He's never been too good with the, the sword techniques, you know? And obviously he has bad memories. Even that. Even that makes him a much nicer father than Stark's dad. As the second son, he agrees. Good, good. Okay, we got Fern in there as well. <laughs> she didn't even, didn't even think about it. Those donuts look real good, though. I can go for a donut right now. This is not what I would expect these episodes to be at all. I hate formal parties. Hate them more than I could. Ooh. Past month has been hell. Oh, look at one of those slick back hair. Yeah, you got us in this, Fern. Even though this is not what I was expecting for this, this is uh, very nice. I love them sharing a moment like this together. He's being a little wowed by how good he is, you know? Dapper Stark for sure. Like I'm watching like uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I'd be Mr. Filch just dancing with the cat, you know. They are very elegant looking. We're low key killing it. Shout out Stark. Look at free written inside. She just wants to eat. <laughs> That's free run to a T. そうだな。私もお前の父親の代わりではない。it's one of my biggest fears in life is to be just to end on a relationship ender like that and then to have not be able to apologize, you know? So I always say at the end of my videos, tell someone you love them because you never know what might happen tomorrow, you know? You can hear Moot out there training. Yeah. I do like that reference to him and his father a lot. I love that. That was the whole episode? That went by so fast, man. Alright, on to the next episode. This is episode 16. We're going fishing. I haven't been fishing in years. I, I used to go fishing every time, every year. Around August time. Oh, this is a young sign. Can't wait till this is off and I can go fishing again. I am very curious how this part of sign's adventure is going to go. Is he going to find his friend? It's been 10 years. Hopefully his friend's still alive. I love how he's pulling him out of the shade into the light. There's so much subtle s symbolism in the show. This is the start of our legend.
That's the photo. I love how it's like a magical photo. Because he hasn't even know the concept of photography, you know. I hope you find your man, sign. I really do. Episode 16, Long Lived Friends. Now we're now in the Klar region. I've wondered that since literally episode 1. 300 years. It's quite crazy. Oh. Okay. There's got to be something somewhat peaceful about being an adventurer. Traveling from land to land, earning your, your wage, your keep, doing whatever that may be, you know. Is that him? His sword looks gangster. <laughs> he does look like an old seasoned warrior. He's decrepit. Gotta test him as a as a warrior. Our due to carelessness. Oh yeah. Okay, old man Vol testing that boy. He did let his guard down, which you should, being you know. True. That's a good little warrior's test. Damn. Good. Get some Stark training again. That's she from a dwarf. I wonder if Vol knows Aizen. Man, imagine how much easier farming would be with magic. I do love me some carrots, too. They're the glizzies of the vegan world. Like a Stark. I'm <laughs> crying while he's training. Nobody knows why, huh? I'm sure it just outlives the people who, you know, are protective deity. The, I'm curious what the reason the reason why he started doing this was. My man Stark is training training. Damn, he easily was able to take down whatever sort of bear beast that was. Really? Am I going to get more in-depth about that? Even when they were here 20, 80 years ago, he was still here defending the village. That's a good, that's a good reason to defend a village with your life. Oh. I love the way they animate this. You can tell just by the way he's looking at her, that man was in love. I think if anyone would understand, it'd be this party. I think Hema would get it. Carry on. The memory of Himmel the hero. でもやっぱりイケメン当主集はいらなかったかな。記憶の無駄遣いだ。その勇者の顔は覚えているか。当たり前でしょ。思い出せない。It does happen after a certain amount of or a certain amount of time, you know.まなざしも。That's sad. それでもわしは大切な何かのためにこの村を守っている。He's like, no, we did that. I wonder if he actually is getting somewhat senile in his old age. She doesn't want to confront him about it. That's nice of her. 
There's something sad about a warrior as predominant and renowned as someone like him, you know? Like, like you hate seeing the, your grandparents or the people you loved, you know, start to degenerate, you know, you know the words I'm looking for. This is always rough. I'm glad we went and saw him, though. That was very beautiful, yet very sad. I'm glad we did that, though. Shout out Old Man Bull. I love how even from when he was young, he still carries that picture. I wonder who the mage is that took that picture. What is it? I mean, you did say he has energy like a gorilla, but... <laughs> that was what everyone called him? Gorilla Warrior? Okay. That sounds more right. Goatee Priest. <laughs> Freerun's genuinely interested. That's hilarious. But you're a weird guy too, that's why you guys are best friends. Stubborn old woman. Interesting. Self admittedly so. Okay. We're just doing a lot of daily side quests for her, some tasks. So we're delivering the letter to the blacksmith in the neighboring village. I'm gonna pick some apples for her. Find a rare flower blooming on the side of the mountain. Find a treasure chest in a dungeon. Get chased. Get some giant chicken eggs. Polish the hero statue in the canyon. Okay. So it should be maybe just him or the entire party. Everyone's like, I'm one of them. If she knows that name, she definitely knows Gorilla Warrior. Oh, is that craft? Maybe I'm just talking out of my ass, but... Okay. Man used to be a warrior, now he's a monk. The sign recognized the warrior on the left? Heiter took them here when they were young? It does look him, like him. Ancient heroes. I like that ambition. <laughs> look at him all inspiring the youth. Sad truth of it. That's why we have people like Freerun who will pass on his legacy, you know? Man, now I want to learn more about craft. And your name is Goatee Priest. I don't even have a goatee yet. That does make more sense why he wants praise from the goddess. Especially because all his good deeds 
were forgotten. Interesting. What did she say? Tua. Trading city in the middle of the northern lands. East of Osiris. He's only on this party to look for his friend. Are we going to split up? We're at a, a fork in the road, literally. Damn, damn, damn. Well, thoroughly enjoyed these episodes a lot. And I love the subtle commentary on things that aren't necessarily the most prevalent but very prevalent in these episodes such as old man vol becoming more senile and decrepit as age goes on age is one of the war you know getting old is one of the worst things that can happen to you in, in certain aspects you know there's a certain wisdom and expertise that comes with it but you know that's why like things like dementia and alzheimer's are so sad but then you have also stark and everything that was going on with the pretending to be the Lord's son and he him relating to Moot and being the second son and stuff like that. Like there's a lot of subtleties that a lot of different people with certain situations can relate to and I thoroughly enjoy it. And now we talk about sign and regretting something he did and losing a friend over the years. You know, there's so many different aspects of these characters that make them multifaceted and it's so in depth yet so like there's something that everyone can gather from the show that is you know that is lovely that touches you you know whether it's your parents whether it's your grandparents whether it's a friend whether it's you know there's something for everyone i thoroughly enjoy that on top of the amazing music on top of the amazing animation there's so many great aspects about the show madhouse truly outdid themselves with this i love that fight against the chaos flower with Sign and, and Free Run, like I'm really enjoying the relationship budding between Stark and Fern. I'm enjoying Sign's literal fork in the road, you know, like who knows what he's gonna do. There's a lot going on. I always love how it relates to the old party, Himmel, Hydra, and Aizen, to now. This is getting really in depth, really, really deep, and I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed these episodes. If you did, please leave a like on this reaction. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to tell someone you love them. Drink some water. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.